The following is a special live presentation of Eastlink Community TV in association with the Maritime Hockey League and the Amherst Ramblers. This is the Fred Page Cup on Eastlink. The host Amherst Ramblers trying to reach the Fred Page Cup final just like the host from last year did. The Ottawa Junior Sens, the Rams and Sens getting ready to go for this big semifinal tonight on Eastlink Community TV. Time to meet the starting goaltenders for Community Credit Union Experience the Difference. Matt Williams, 24 wins in 34 games in the regular season. Night off last night. He's back in tonight for the Rams in this semifinal. On the other side, Francis Boisbert, 31 victories in the regular season, a 9.45 save percentage in the playoffs. He's Ottawa's guy as the Sens try to reach the Fred Page Cup final for the second straight year. The Ramblers hoping to make their first trip to the Fred Page Cup championship game. Ramblers in the white and purple uniforms acting as the visiting team tonight. So Ottawa gets last change because they finished second place in the round robin. Those increased minutes last night, he played a lot as the Rams break it up. Stephen Fox had a lot of minutes last night too in the top line. Gets it back, a shot, oh what a save by Boisbert as Misha Civic stepped into one. Well Civic, the big free agent from New York, came over from the Skylanders in the North American Hockey League and he gets all kinds of time, glides into it and rips it. And Francis Boisbert, the Blaineville native, makes no mistake about it, snags that one and hauls it in for the draw. Back of the net, Opa. Back to Peon, Bays for the line, shoots, and Williams stabbing at it again. And many question why LeBlanc rested those guys last night, because they hadn't played in a month, but there's a method to it. There's a shot comes in, they score! Ottawa, the first goal of the game! And it comes off the stick of Christopher Pichet back into the lineup tonight after serving a one-game suspension. Well, they look at it, Ottawa, they move the puck around, they like to get that lane, and they receive Friel shoots it. Williams kicks out the rebound, and Pichet is right there in the circle. Friel finds a lane off the toe of Williams. Williams can't get back across to seal the post up. And Pichet buries that one. And Ottawa gets out in front. In front, they're trying to get one. Wah! Maybe surprise him a little bit. He got that puck so quickly, and... No surprise for Bob Air. At five on five, Hunter McIntyre with speed out of the zone. Lafford and Green with him. McIntyre in, trying to get to the front, and there goes the net. As the shot comes in, they score, and they're calling it a goal. The net's off. Casey Fox thinks he scored, or the referee's going to talk about this. Well, watch the little stumble back here by the defenseman, Rowe, and there it is. The net comes off the inside, and the shot beats on the left side of Bois Air. Referee's standing right there, and they're going to drop the puck here. Center ice. Laying down with Bays to break that loose. McIntyre to the front of the net, a tip by McFarland, and oh. And Amherst able to come away with it. Here's Green to the middle. Yule, a quick shot. Oh, a good save again with the glove by Boisbert as Nick Yule broke in. Good job. Talent-laden team here. Plenty of talent. Amherst Ramblers has the host trying to advance to the Fred Page Cup. Momentum is such a fuel of the game of hockey. And right there, the crowd jumps up and just at the side of the net. An opportunity there as Boisvert to extend himself. McIntyre. Looks defeated out of the zone. He'll give it away to Jackson, who's coming in. Centering pass, shot, scores! Darcy Walsh, the captain, off the turnover. And Ottawa take a 2-1 lead. Talk about this in the first period. 
Ottawa always has a trailer on the rush, and a lot of their opportunities, they look for that trailer. Hunter McIntyre has it within two or three feet of the blue line, overhandles it, turns it back, and there's just a throwback by Jackson. He knows the trailer's coming. He has no option, throws it back. Walsh comes in, no mistake about it. Williams tries the two-pad slide. Ottawa regains the lead. Ethan Manderville, the son of former NHLer Kent Manderville. One Cole. Friel in a battle with McIntyre in front. Ramblers still can't clear the puck and they score! It looks like Friel got a tip. A power play goal for the Ottawa Junior Sens and there's a two goal lead. Their fans celebrate in the stands of the jungle. Talked about Ottawa's power play looks the last time. Again, they're trying to work it. Friel is in a huge battle with Hunter McIntyre. McIntyre gets tied up with him there. Puck squirts through again, gets to the close to the line, doesn't get out. Friel down low with the screen on Williams. I don't know that he touched it. He's kind of indicating that he did. Looked like it just might have went right through the screen. And there's the reaction of the Rams bench. Not that time. All safe steps in. Shoot save by Williams, and he's got it. Williams didn't like that extra shot, and the referee will have some more penalty calls coming out of this scrum. Lafford's pass intercepted by Friel. He's got a goal already. He's coming in, stops and shoots, and that's stopped by Williams. Green at center ice, picks it up. Here's Casey Fox coming in. He shoots, oh, good save by Bobby Rita. They score! Matt Green! The Ramblers are back in it. It's three to two. Well, there's the atmosphere now. Casey Fox works it in the Labyrinth. Tuck on the net, a rarity gets away from Francis Poivre. You don't see him give up the sloppy rebound too often. And a diving Matt Green on the backhand. Nice goal, and Poivre made the effort, and he just about got it. Lunging extra effort. Face off one, Rich is shot, bouncing in front of the net. And Rich can't put it home. This desperate Rambler team, here's the playoff to draw. And again, Bravier loses a piece of it. And Rich got something on the official waving it off. Let's get a look at it here. Bouncing puck and just to the outside as Rich went for it. And two rarities, the goal in that one. Do you see Bravier give up a sloppy rebound? Ulrice now in with Walsh, drops it off. Jackson hits the post. And now out the other way come the Ramblers, four wide. Civic. Across, in with a shot save, loose puck, and they can't get it to the front of the goal as the puck was scrambling around. Can't get anywhere. Shot scores off the draw! Paul Law! The Ramblers have tied it with 2.41 to go! The place goes wild here in Amherst! They're out of control on the big one there! The blast, we just said they've been good on the face-offs. And did they ever take advantage of that one? And look at this crowd in the jungle. It literally is jumping. Let's watch it. Key win there, double tap, and it's a bit of a knuckleball. Doesn't sit flat. Right there, wobbling puck. Bobair can't pick up the knuckle puck. And we are tied. Wow. The cardiac kid strike. The Amherst Ramblers. It's jungle fever. Amherst takes possession out of the zone. Could be leading in is Rich. Rich over for Waugh. He falls. And the fans are up. Looking for a penalty call. They won't get it there either. Bull Reese gets the loose puck. Dempster fires, and that was blocked. Casey Fox can't get it out. Whoa, they score! They the score! Buzzer. At the buzzer, though. The referee is signaling goal. The Senators are celebrating oh off my. the bench. Oh, my goodness. Ottawa with a buzzer beater. And it looks like they're off we to don't. the Fred Page Cup final. And there's no green light to indicate if time expired or not. Oh, my. 
How is this not expected with some of the calls and non-calls we've seen? And it is a goal. They award it at the 20 minute mark. Oh, this place is going crazy. Look at look at it here. That's a close one. That's a close one through the five all. I think it's going to be Noah Rose goal. Wow, right at the buzzer. All right, Noah, an incredible finish. What do you have to say? Uh, yeah, we're pretty excited. We're going to the finals. This is what we came for, for so we're pretty excited. Uh, kudos to uh, Amherst for bringing it back and uh, giving us a real good game today. And I mean, this will be your second time heading to the finals. How would you describe this game today? This was just pure determination and grit. Uh, everything was against us, in my opinion. The refs were against us at the same time, but uh, we handled it well, kept our heads, and uh, we just stuck to our game plan and won. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.